Okay, lesson number two. Let's go to our flight prep classroom and begin with lesson two, aerodynamics. Now you'll notice that this lesson is similar to your private pilot course. That's because airplanes pretty much fly the same, whether you're a private pilot or a commercial pilot. And as a flight instructor, you need to be able to explain these concepts. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Hi, once again, I'm Dave Seleski, and welcome to this flight instructor study course. This is lesson number two, aerodynamics and the principles of flight. As a flight instructor, you not only need to be a proficient pilot, but you also need to understand aeronautical concepts and to be able to explain them. We'll cover these concepts to help you best teach them to your students. Here's how this lesson is organized into these topics. Axis of an aircraft, airfoils and their shapes, the aerodynamic forces, the balance forces, maneuverability, controllability and stability, aerodynamic efficiency, load factors and maneuvering speed, stalls and of course spins, wing shapes, high lift devices, and finally, ground effect. Okay, let's begin now with the axis of an aircraft. As you should remember from your commercial pilot training days, a fixed wing aircraft has three axes, which are perpendicular to each other. We're going to review these right now, so you're not only going to ace your FAA written, but you're also going to explain these concepts, most importantly, to your students. Here we go. These axes intersect at the center of gravity at the aircraft, and here is the center of gravity for this particular airplane. They are the longitudinal axis, also called the roll axis or the X axis. And the longitudinal axis right here extends lengthwise through the fuselage. The ailerons cause rotation about the longitudinal axis. Now the lateral axis extends across the aircraft's wing, from wingtip to wingtip, right there, and once again, right through our center of gravity. This is called the pitch or the Y axis. Movement is caused by the elevators that causes the aircraft to rotate through the lateral axis. Now, next up we have the vertical axis, also called the yaw or the Z axis. And it extends vertically, once again, right through our center of gravity on the aircraft. And its movement is caused by the rudder that causes rotation about the vertical axis. It's time now for our first FAA test question, and here we go. It is, the three axes of an aircraft intersect at the A, center of gravity, center of pressure, or midpoint of the mean chord. Your answer, center of gravity. <laughs> 